I'm your host with the most, Christian Alarcon, here joined with my friends Gordon, Jake, Logan, and Mason. How's everybody doing tonight? You need, you need woo, to come down. Woo, woo, woo. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, dude, you killed the whole vibe. I'm trying, bro. I'm I think, trying, bro. I, think I, I would not mind that at all. What'd you, what that, you guys that was good. Nah, man. I'm out hey of here. Hey, guys. What is up? It is Christian, Logan, Gordon, Mason. We're here to fuck your days up. What's uh, up, YouTube? The host with the most, that's from White Boy 7th Street, bro. Whoa, it's copy right. Wait, copy no, wait, wait, wow, that's infringement. That's <laughs> what do you say? What do you say? I haven't seen White Boy Seven Street forever. How's he go? I know. Right? I don't even know what the What's fuck. What's up, guys? He says. No, he goes like. No, he goes like. Yeah. What's up? It's White Boy Seven Street. Yeah, there's White Boy Seven Street here. That's so funny. I'm pretty sure I got in the game of Blackout with him not too long ago. Bro, he used to be a badass. Fucking Minecraft and Call of Duty. Yeah, he was. He was an OG. For sure. Well, I mean, there's I mean, a guy in my say, game. He, he started. It is official that he started the goat. I swear to God, he did. Cause he the he goat. called himself the, the G O A T, goat. He did. Yeah, I but swear to God, he, he had beans on it. Phrase. That's an old ass saying. But I, but I, yeah. if I, I don't know. Trace I feel like I feel like there back, had to be to someone God. back, like when Michael Jordan was playing. They someone called him the goat. Like they had to have. Nah, I think I they just called him the best the player. Go nah, goat is an old saying for sure. I seen yo, yo, that yo. Oh, this motherfucker oh. wants to talk now. What's going on, guys? Larry the Lion here. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my God. Larry? This oh my I thought God. it was Gary. I'm, I can't. It was I'm Gary, sorry. wasn't it? Oh, my God, it was, it was Gary. Gary. <laughs> wait, 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 Mason, do it again, do it again. Just act like it didn't happen, bro. Oh, oh just act like it didn't happen? All yeah, right, yeah, yo, yeah. what's going on, guys? It's Gary the Lion here. <laughs> yo, can I get an autograph? Nah, fuck you. <laughs> okay. I don't do it for the fans, I do it for myself. <laughs> All right. What kind of a mascot are you? <laughs> <laughs> the mascot's main focus you, is the you fans. You inspire to be. I I decided to Google the first person to like. Just when did we all start using goat? I say LL Cool J. And someone's saying in 2006. That that's when like the first time it was used. No, that's dumb I as mean, hell. That There's is no around way. White Boy Summer Street. No For way. Sure. Tell you, LL Cool J has it in a song. I've seen something on Genius that made like a wow. video, like who was the first person to use the term. That's funny because I just read this. I don't think we all started using GOAT that way until the early 2000s, and that's when we get to likely think LL Cool J, who released G O A T. Bam! Greatest of all time in 2002. Well, wow. 10, 2000. That's G shit right there, baby. Shout out yeah. LL Cool J. Shout out. Yo, he actually is a, my favorite uh, he's a listener. He is a listener. He does. He actually just DM me. He said, "Stop talking about me." Oh, never mind. Um, shit. Damn, this ain't even live though. Yeah, doesn't mean he's not here. Okay, what what drink? When when I say Drake, what drink do you think of? Drink, Sprite. What drink? Yes. Oh my god, I'm so hyped you said that. Wait, <laughs> I just think you back say to drink? the fucking, uh, the, the, the Sprite video? commercial, dude. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> of him, like coming apart. I don't know. Wait, did you say yeah, it's when you say song, Drake right? yeah. or when you say drink? Drake, like the rapper. What drink do you think of? Is what he said. Sprite. Why, would, do why Sprite would I think? Like, why would like, I think of a soda? Drink and it split <laughs> up in the space. Yeah, I'm seeing this thing on Genius right now. Let's see. Hey, no free he shout said, outs. Oh yeah, yeah. Fuck yeah, yeah. My whoa, bad. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, Genius wants to sponsor the podcast. Yes, we are recording. No, we're not recording. Oh, I didn't know. What's up, fuck? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're. <laughs> yeah, <why? laughs> He's like, oh, I didn't know we were, or I would have said that a long time ago. Well, so we are, or we're not. We are, bro. We are, bro. What? Oh, okay. Where have you Where's been, dog? Your Where's your situational on... awareness? This guy's got no map well, sense. Arizona is farther than Colorado, so I'm a fucking <laughs> dumbass. <laughs> dumbass, bro. I almost said it again. <laughs> I feel like you genuinely believe it. <laughs> that I'm a dumbass? <laughs> I mean, or, that or that oh, you think Colorado, Colorado Arizona. Arizona. <laughs> Yo, the funny no, thing I is, get, I get Louisiana and Colorado always mixed up, or uh, Arizona, because huh? they look the same. Wait. <laughs> what? No. <laughs> what? no, on a, no, on no. Louisiana's uh, a map. No. Louisiana's a map. No. On a map. On a map. How? Louisiana Wait. and Arizona, bro. Yeah, because they're both like towards like the south down low, and then they're like so you know, look at them separate. <laughs> um, 
Oh my god. Alright, no. podcast. You are guys. done talking about geography, dog. You are you are fake. Oh my god. This geography no. is off. You'll probably be seeing no. this on Twitter as well. <laughs> Mister, I look at a map every day. Okay. Speaking you of guys Twitter. are just proven to the world that you guys are dicks to me and you sing to me out all the time. <laughs> Bro, you okay. St- you stayed like I mean you were at you alley ooped that to us. You did alley oop that shit. Okay, well you could have choked it, but no, you slammed it in. There. <laughs> yeah, bro. Like 360 <laughs> windmills that shit on. Could have choked it. Could have choked. 360 windmills. Yeah, but you fucking, you guys did it between the legs. Fucking <laughs> let it hang in the air. Let we everyone were, take every single picture. We were, we were <laughs> passing it. We were passing it off the backboard to each other, and then like <laughs> the last guy yeah. just slams it on. Literally, you guys float in the air, and then. We're do, 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 off the backboard like 12 times <laughs> oh while playing god. with your butthole and then you end oh my god what pause what bro oh my god <laughs> god no. I hate podcasts bro I can't be myself <laughs> yes you can <laughs> 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 bro I'm laughing away too <laughs> bro I'm seriously. fucking dead <laughs> oh, my Ooh. fucking my stummy hurt bro <laughs> Why don't you cry me a river? <laughs> I'll cry you a fucking, uh, a fucking something. All right, I got a question. I got a question. Do you have the squish ball? What's up, fucker? I got the squish ball. All right, cool. <laughs> What's up, fuckers? How do you how do you all feel about zoos? Zeus. Zeus. Z double O S. I thought Denzel's out. Was he like sleep? Denzel's out. No. Wait. Are you talking a literal zoo? Yes, an it's actual an zoo, zoo, bruh. No, a fucking zoo is what I'm talking about. <laughs> uh, I still don't get what you're talking about. Zoo? No, like zoo. the Cincinnati okay? Zoo. okay? You know, like the, mor- you the morality them? behind it? Do you support zoos or are you against zoos? Or I don't know on? what you're talking about. <laughs> what like, is it okay to keep animals zoos, in okay, they, cages, bro? They cage up animals, bro. <laughs> And they okay, set them on okay, display. Yes, yes, explain to me, please, because I obviously don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> please, have you never been, been to a zoo? <laughs> okay, oh, so when you walk oh. in, you buy your ticket, okay? You walk in. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Zoo. Wait, wait, zoo. wait. Okay. Are you talking okay. about the one thing? You zoos? walk in and see the animals. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, there yeah. we go. Fuck Logan. <laughs> <laughs> Making me look like an idiot again. Oh, my God. Yeah, I think um, zoos are fucked. Up, but yeah. it's a thing of the natural society these days. So In my opinion, anyway. I think you can see it both ways. I, I mean, I don't think it's bad if like you're keeping them safe. Yeah, they're on the brink of extinction. Yeah, they're yeah. like nonprofit. Some of them, and they uh, are like rehab centers. But some zoos just fucking like see what animals out of wild and shit. Just put them on display. Uh, I just think uh, the idea of making money off keeping like animals in captive is like whack. Yeah, thanks. It just doesn't seem like right, but I don't know. I mean, well, what's what was the whole thing with SeaWorld? Didn't SeaWorld go some do some crazy shit? I'm yeah, pretty they, sure they were right like hooking were... their whales and whatnot. Yeah, they were just <laughs> yeah, it was something them. like that. <laughs> Stabbing <laughs> them after every show. <laughs> <laughs> That's not funny, but we just laughed. That ain't funny at all. Yeah, 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 yeah for real. If it wasn't a podcast, you guys would be laughing. <laughs> <laughs> On the fucking floor. <laughs> Rolling, Reenacting it. Reenacting it. <laughs> Whoa. Oh that was too far, guys. We're not gonna reenact killing whales. Whoa, okay, Logan, you're, you're off you, script. Bro, you stay question. on script. What are you doing? You know, let's put your fucking dog in his yeah, let, let, let him see. Let him see what he thinks about being held captive. For real. About to start just paying you to come over and see your dog. <laughs> I was looking yeah, up, I I was a, looking up weird stuff situation. about uh, SeaWorld. <laughs> And I guess like all their, I'm get is an orca a whale? Like I don't even know. Yeah, yeah. It's I like guess like uh, hey. they their lifespan is like like cut in half whenever they're <laughs> kept in captive, and like Jeez. something about collapsed dorsal fins. But they're only found in orcas that uh, are held captive, and you'll ne- there's never been like there's never had a collapsed dorsal fin in in a whale that's out in the open. Uh, is that the top they... one? Is that the top can one? Can go both ways. What do you the mean? The ocean it can't is go like ninety eight percent unexplored. So how would they even know that? Yeah, so what? fucking liars. How would they know that it's only only in like captives? 
to whatever. Oh, who fucks? Oh, I, I mean, every whale they see, they probably see that they're like, all right, well, this whale's healthy out here on his own, eating his, eating his fish, <laughs> eating his krill and shit. <laughs> what do you guys? Okay, so here's a cool thing. So whales. Um, when they ejaculate, they, uh, <laughs> pause. <laughs> okay. 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 So when they ejaculate, they, um, this is, this is facts. You can look it up. They ejaculate 500 gallons. Okay. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. But they, but they only, gallons. yes, 500 gallons. I'm not kidding. But they only get in like 15% of that 500 gallons. Bruh. Do you think that's Imagine. why the oceans are so salty? Oh, I don't even want to think That's about That's probably that. why they're delicious. <laughs> oh, oh my what? god. <laughs> what? Wait. <laughs> now I'm you're the freak of the podcast. Yeah, can, we get, can we get a clip of that? Bro. <laughs> what? So delicious. Like, you could use any word, but you just have to be delicious. <laughs> Imagine if salty, he was accidentally. Uh, I mean, that sounds you know. like something you. So would, like, you think see. it's salty? You think it's delicious? <laughs> mm. <laughs> like, I'm gonna be very upset if the ocean's actually salty because of whale cum. There's no I way, mean, though. It's po- I think 500 like gallons whales, is a lot. Every yeah, if every whale's busting 500 nuts in the ocean, 500 little baby boys. <laughs> I mean, what, bro? Are they getting it on like every second, though? Like how much? Oh, what do whales they directly into the female? All 500 Wait, gallons. How, how many? How many gallons did you say? 500. 500? Oh yeah, okay. That's wild. I mean, Imagine that, you're in your room beating off and you just splooge 500, 500 gallons. 500 <laughs> literally you cover your room. Or... You just start drowning. <laughs> yeah, what? No, this is... <laughs> <laughs> what a way to fucking die, bro. I'm on Google right now. Local Do man have dies via cum. That's one thing. We all need to be sat on our phones Googling all this shit as we... Like, I've, I've been looking up the whale thing as well. And there's just so many questions like, is the ocean salty because of whale sperm? I guess technically, <laughs> like, I've honestly never took that in and even thought about it. Well, I didn't I know mean, why. I wonder how long it though. takes to get off 500 gallons. A millisecond. Like, are you, are you straight in there? Like, are you orgasming? Where does for, that like, even, how do whales fuck? Two hours. How don't they fuck, bro? Hitting it from the back, bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good question, though. Like, I don't know. Well, what people, this, this uh, thing says salt in the ocean comes from rocks on land, but I'm gonna go ahead that's and believe. Bullshit. I'm gonna go ahead and believe it comes from <laughs> okay, whale cum. That's that's cool. That's, that's bullshit. bullshit. Where'd you get that National Geographic channel? Yeah, pretty <laughs> much. Ocean, National Ocean Service, National National Oceanic that, and Atmospheric Don't even read the rest of that. Straight bullshit. <laughs> I'd rather get it from <laughs> the Onion. Was saying that. I I am ten <laughs> times more of a reliable source than that fucking thing. Uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> He's got Think public papers, dude. Yo, Think I want everyone to, to books, honestly though, to go unpunished. back and just look at a picture of Louisiana and look at a picture of Arizona. There you go. I'm trying to put it back in on oh me. Oh, my God. Look at you. Whoa, look pause. You. Whoa, pause what? as fuck. Yo, huh? Put it back in you. What? Put it back what on the... me. On me. Okay, I mean, on like, you? Put... Whoa. Oh <laughs> Y'all always draw that negative. Bro? Keep that negative energy away from me. <laughs> I can't deal. <laughs> inhale the good shit, exhale the bullshit. <laughs> right? Fuck. That's God, I'm gonna make this party tonight terrible for you, Gordon. Whoa, party. <laughs> Whoa, I'm gonna fucking God. bust 500 whale nuts all over your fucking house. <laughs> 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 we'll see who'll be laughing then about Arizona. <laughs> when you're laying in fucking whale jizz. Okay. <laughs> oh my God, bro. Dude. I decided to what? link you guys uh, two pictures of an Arizona. Like, go to the Discord, look at Arizona, and then look at Louisiana. And tell me what you guys Yeah, think. this... Let me this see. Wait, sham. guys. Wait, let me see. Let me see. <laughs> <laughs> exact same shape. Same part of the map. If it didn't have that little L, it would look like it. So is about eight other states. Yeah, you can say that about any. Yeah, any. State. Okay, well then I'm right then. So, case closed. <laughs> case Thanks, closed. appreciate case, it. Jacob. Case closed. Do nice girls finish last? <laughs> I'm pretty uh, sure that, that word no. sentence is used as boys. Do boy? Do nice guys finish? Yeah. Last? Well, we all know that they do. <laughs> girls. Do nice girls? I, I'd, last? I'd say we finish first. Gr- nice girls always finish last because they never finish. What does that mean? <laughs> what, is, what does that mean? 
Think about I feel like nice girls can finish first. Nah, because they're like, go ahead, get off real quick, boy. That's not what I mean. That's Whoa. Not what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> it was a joke. That was a joke. I completely knew that. That's oh. funny as fuck. <laughs> this reminds me of uh, that little like uh, that little uh, that little question. Jake always says says this thing at our house. Whenever someone drops something, you know how people usually say "nice hands, feet." <laughs> Jake, oh, wait, what do you say? You say "nice catch, feet." Like you know, what I mean? you just, <laughs> nice catch feet. You just, like the joke is "nice hands, feet." He <laughs> just completely disregards it nice every catch. time. <laughs> you, get, you know, small just change it to "nice catch, dude." Nice catch, dude. <laughs> When he like compliment at that it. point, yeah, trying to make fun of him. He nice just drops grab, it. Buddy. He's like, "Nice catch, dude." He's like, "Okay." Like, asshole. <laughs> so when are we gonna have a blackout drunk podcast where we all chuck a bottle of Jaeger? Well, I'm fucking playing <laughs> right now. I don't even... <laughs> Did you turn German too? <laughs> German accent. Are you? Oh, that was you my ancestry. Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, dude. Fuck off. Where are you guys no, saying hey, li- from? I was literally li- listening back to that podcast yesterday. Germany. And every time, every time Gordon did some kind of different accent, every time it was country. It was like, he started with the fucking, I'll trade country hat with the fucking. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because you yeah, think about the people and I was imitating. Any other thing that involved a different person, it was country. Well, I mean, think about it. I did, I did Steve Hillbilly. Austin. He's definitely got a country accent. Yeah, you're like, Steve Austin, slam a beer. I fucking well, I mean, that's our, literally our what he did. <laughs> I was like, oh, God. <laughs> He would stone cold stone of people, then chug a beer. He fucked the president. <laughs> oh, pause. <laughs> Rewind. Hey, sh- Christian, Christian, you want to tell the viewers uh, what pause means? Uh, nah. When someone right, says some it. gay shit, that's what. <laughs> some sus shit. Some su- oh, okay, some sus Whoa, shit. Oh, chill, buddy. Chill, 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 chill. Gotta chill. Bro, young thug. So when you say some sus shit, you say pause, and then if well, it's not as sus as you think, you can hit rewind, you can play it. Kind of just depends but, on whatever your remote says. And if you're but feeling what it, sus you mean? Fast forward it. You know what I'm saying? Sus, sus is weird, like something out of the ordinary. You want me to give you some examples? <laughs> yeah. No. <actually. laughs> please don't. I mean, <laughs> please earlier don't. we just did one. I said, oh, "Don't put that back on me." Whoa. <laughs> no, <laughs> in me. He said, "In me." Don't nah, put that. Think, rewind it. <laughs> rewind. rewind. Slow Reverse. motion. <laughs> oh, you know what? Were, were any of our predictions right on Game Six? Uh, nope. Yeah, uh, one zero. Actually, because I said the Warriors. Hey, I was actually close. I was, I was one hundred ten, one hundred five, or one ten. No <laughs> way. Are He's you just done it again? Kidding me, <laughs> dude? I'm like, I'm thinking in my head one five. Like, you guys act like I graduated high school. Everybody, let's let's keep that in clear. If you're watching from across the country, and not so a actual. Potato. <laughs> <laughs> okay, everyone makes mess ups. Okay, some more often than others. Oh, I definitely had up. the worst prediction because I said the Warriors were going to win ninety nine to eighty two. That actually could not have been more wrong. That was. I mean, yeah, I said well, Toronto. If we do rewind it back, zero. I do recall you saying it was going to be low scoring. I did say I it said, was going to be low scoring as shit. I said one hundred four, one hundred one, and that score. Did happen. So yeah, that, there was a point I in the game right. where it was 104 101 Toronto. Yeah, point, Jacob. So, where's my money? Pay up. No. Hey, uh, <laughs> hey, I said 110 105 Warriors. If you flip the teams, I'm pretty close. No. I mean, it's not even right, though. I said I'm pretty close. <laughs> Which doesn't mean <laughs> shit. <laughs> nice. Good job, buddy. <laughs> Congratulations. Thanks, cigar, Jacob. Bro. Thanks, Jacob. That's all I wanted to hear. <laughs> I haven't heard that my whole life. Jeez. I'm Dark. proud of you. Oh my god, I haven't heard that either. <laughs> Think of a monkey. I'm not going okay. anywhere else with that one. <laughs> that one. Think of a monkey. <laughs> Bro, dude, evolution's not real. Monkeys don't exist. Let's be honest. They really don't. Why Change is their mind. monkey still turning into humans then, Christian? I just said monkeys don't exist. <laughs> Monkeys don't exist. I'm looking at one right now. Can't tell you who it actually is. But... <laughs> <laughs> That's fucked, bro. That's fucked. Do and you guys think? Like racist. Do you guys think that uh, there should be warning Whoa. stickers on uh, unhealthy food? Like on a McDouble? What? Yeah. Like, 
Oh, like okay. On, I thought you just unhealthy yeah. food. I feel like everyone like knows every though. piece of unhealthy, unhealthy, unhealthy food. Like I feel like the warning anything, sticker is literally the uh, like anything that's not good for you. I want you to what's the it. what's the little thing that says all the ingredients and everything? Uh, the nutrition facts. Or yeah, I feel like that's almost a warning sign. Yeah. Yeah, but it's no one ever looks at those. I know, but I mean, honestly, if someone is eating McDonald's, they know it's unhealthy. An unhealthy sticker on yeah. it, it's not. They're not gonna look at that sticker like, what? Wait, <laughs> this Big Mac's not common good sense. for me. McDonald's should be common sense. That should but be technically, no if you so think of it as you're just eating food, you're being healthy. You know what I mean? Like, cause you need food. Well, I'm not just. Yeah, but it could be shit you, you know what I mean? I'm talking yeah. just. People go to the grocery store and they'll find something and be like, oh, this is, you know, it has chicken in it. <laughs> but then it has, like, shit ton of bad stuff for you. Fuck they it. Don't you, know can't, you can't die if you only eat McDonald's. That is a proven fact. That is true. I've seen the movie uh, Super Size Me. That guy lived. <laughs> <laughs> Am I wrong? I mean, I'm pretty sure he only went for a month, correct? Am I wrong? Was uh, it only a month? For- Did he longer, live? I'm sure. He did live. But I mean, weren't doctors telling him, like, yo, month. you gotta fucking stop, bro. <laughs> yeah. what are they you were, doing? but did he live? <laughs> okay, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> I guess for the movie, yeah. But if you'd have kept doing it, for sure. You'd have no, right I, once you hit, like, a certain wall, you just become perfect shape from uh, eating McDonald's. Oh, really? Yeah. He was about two weeks away from being literally a bodybuilder. A, a bodybuilder. <laughs> Anyone that really kills McDonald's, go ahead and close out your phone right now, or whatever you're listening on. Yeah, I'll turn off this podcast and never because listen again. Because I honestly. am a firm believer in McDonald's saves lives. It does. I agree. I agree. <laughs> Facts. Facts. Except for McDonald's has been throwing the last few times, as has Chipotle. I think I just don't like food Ooh, anymore. Bold. No, Chipotle sucks oh. nowadays. No. Yes. Wrong. Dude, I had a Wrong. Chipotle yesterday, and my guac literally tasted like it was made in 1955. <laughs> oh, I sure. felt, I felt the Great Depression in my guacamole. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, that's not good. Scene. Every bite, I could literally um, just taste it. If you guys can go on an island and eat one thing for the rest of your life, two things. What would you, what would you bring with you? Two if things. You could, if you could eat, you can, you can eat? only eat two things. I yeah, and you can't be like taking Mason's okay. ass. No, I'm messing. But, <laughs> oh, oh, no. Oh, 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 that's not even a pause. We're rejecting the disc and breaking it. <laughs> rejecting the disc. Rejecting? Rejecting. <laughs> yeah. Um, like, salmon is a good one. Salmon. Let's see. I two things. Salmon and asparagus. Uh, no, my two bro, that's dead. You salmon, fucking freak. That's, that's You're a freak, bro. You got any food in the world and you pick a fucking asparagus? You couldn't have picked like chicken, a steak. I'm I said salmon. I'm picking chicken. Why <laughs> ass? Right? Dude, I gotta get. I mean, you that's, gotta that's, get. That's like me saying, "I'll take my I'll bad." Take Let me change that to McDonald's and fries. And corn. <laughs> corn. Salmon and McDonald's fries. <laughs> salmon and McDonald's fries. I, mean, I would just bring burgers and like steaks, like two things I was gonna. Eat. Okay, fill me up sick. forever. I mean, do you so never get sick of this food well. item? I mean, regardless, I mean, you're going to get sick of this fucking asparagus. And, you're going to get sick of uh, any salmon. salmon to pick, no matter what. <laughs> yeah, but. I'm taking oh, chicken and well citrus drop. Somewhat healthy. Chicken and citrus drop. Yeah. Citrus chicken drop. And citrus drop. You would die in five days. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I, I honestly, half my, half my body is probably citrus drop. That's how many I used to consume back in the day. Bro, my That's blood type good. is just citrus drop. They take my blood. blood it's just they take my the blood. It's just like, green. Oh my god! They're like, what in the world? You're, this guy's you're actually citrus living positive on citrus A. Drop. Oh. Citrus positive A. I'd be like, what school did you go to? <laughs> you sure about that? The, no, the doctor's like, I've never seen it before. Actually, you're citrus negative B. Oh my I'm god, like, this right. is crazy. You're obviously a quag, like quag. A quag? Would you just assume my race? <laughs> It's a quag. Yeah, that's a lawsuit. <laughs> now that's a lawsuit on your. A lawsuit. All right, bet. See me in court, bussy. Ooh, damn. Did yeah, you just shoot what, what I have in between my legs? legs? Is episode three just gonna be a court session between Christian and Logan? It is. It's fucking kangaroo Mason, court. Mason, Mason, give me the bait lift. 
It's a bait <laughs> lift. <laughs> you guys want to do a couple would you rathers? That'd be funny. Oh, yeah, that'll be uh, fun. Oh, you know, I actually, right, this will be a decent little time here. Okay. Would you guys rather piss out your ass or shit out your dick? Piss on my ass or piss shit out my, out my dick. Well, if piss you do one, aren't you going to do the other? <laughs> nope, you don't do the other. So if I I'm gonna piss, piss on my on ass, ass, I'm, I'm going to piss on my ass. I'm going to shit out your dick. I don't even want to know. <laughs> what that, that, that just sounds like you would hurt, bro. Nah, you're immune. Shit to would it. get ripped, bro. You're immune to it. What do you mean immune? Yeah, it, it like your body adapts and like it and, it opens <laughs> up. A, is it, it like liquid shit? And then closes back. I mean, whatever what? shit you want it to be, bro. It depends <laughs> on what you ate. <laughs> what? If it's Why liquid, it should be straight shit? diarrhea. Yeah, just uh, yeah. <laughs> spray it everywhere. <laughs> a Taco Bell no. triple chili. Oh my god. A bean burrito. <laughs> Piss out a bean burrito. So, is anyone saying shit out their dick? If you're saying shit out your dick, you're a fucking sociopath. Anyone like, listening to this? Weird. Anyone that's listening hey, to this? Hey. You better not be thinking shit out your dick. <laughs> Unless you're in the him out. Okay. Unless you, you're in the you yeah. Would you rather I got be one. a millionaire, oh, but every yeah. day you have to watch your parents have sex? Or what, like daily? Someone else. Every yeah, day. every week, every week. But you're a millionaire. Or like we're talking once a week? Like what? what, yeah. what do you mean? Yeah. Okay, once a week. Once a week. Right. Once a week. Got. I can't uh, do this. Well, you gotta I watch your no parents. <laughs> okay. Or, um, you suck. <laughs> you suck <laughs> ten. Oh God. Feet. feet? Uh, feet, both, both, you suck them both, and, they, and they've been homeless for over a year. <laughs> and time. you get, I heard they'd be a fucking get, millionaire. And you get what? Five, and you get five, and you get five million dollars. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, I'm, doing I'm doing that, bro. I'm sucking feet. Yeah, yeah I'm suck. I'm sucking feet. I'm sucking okay. How about this? How about uh, this? Um, do you guys rather, do you rather suck toes or eat ass? Suck toes. Bro. You need toes. Suck. Oh man, I hate feet. I hate them. <laughs> Give me them toes. You better open them butt cheeks. I think, I think I'm eating ass, bro. I hate toes. Whoa. I hate Whoa. feet. Damn. I literally hate Ladies. Feet. Ladies. Hey, he's like, single. Yeah, I gotta go to the feet, <laughs> Gordon, man. I'm talking like movie 43 <laughs> type ass. You know about. what I mean? Like that scene. <laughs> <laughs> with God, Chris Pratt? Bro. Why would it be like that? <laughs> That's how it is. It doesn't even make sense. Or crusty ass molded so, Chris, so, wait, did Gordon say he's eating ass? Dude, yeah, I hate, ass, I hate feet. I can't I can't stand feet. So you'd rather lick shit? Nope. That is not me. I mean, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I hope he's not shitting in his mouth. Like, God. Why would right. you say him? All right. Is he <laughs> eating <dude>? Excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> He said, I hope he's not shitting in his, in his mouth. <laughs> oh, did I see that? <laughs> yeah. Rewind back. Sorry, sorry. Rewind, fast forward, pause, play. Anyways. I, I'm sucking toes, though, for real. Toes. Would you, toes. Rather, would you rather lose the ability to lie or believe everything you're told? Hmm. Lose the ability to lie. Well, I already believe. do the second one pretty much, so I'm just <laughs> believe everything you're told. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually. I feel like um, it's a little combined. <laughs> I rather lie, but, like, um, I rather just lose the ability to lie. Honestly, oh, yeah. No, I feel like you, I like, even like, like, you know, imagine you're, you're not gonna die. You're not gonna die. I swear to God, if you jump in that pit <laughs> of venomous snipe spiders. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that would just be annoying. There'd be so much dumb shit you'd believe. This side, this like side's pretty good for some of these. Yeah, I'm already gullible as shit. <laughs> <laughs> this one says, if you were reborn in a new life, would you rather be alive in the past or future? Future. Future. Uh, for sure. Uh, past. We already know what the Yeah, Christian, is. we get it. You're different. You fucking... Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Hipster. Yeah, you dumb I'm bitch. With the earth. I want to be I'm a mighty kid with a leather jacket. <laughs> Slick back hair. Six, guy wants to go down to the local... So you went from the 90s? The the lo- guy wants to go down to the local uh, diner. Easter days? Roller skate. <laughs> drink milkshake. That sounds real as fuck. Yeah, I've heard Have you guys seen Jonah Hill's uh, movie? 
the nineties or whatever. Yeah, mid nineties. It's high nineties. That's pretty. It's I like that. Decent. That's pretty Ooh, good. What about this one? Decent. Would you rather experience the beginning of Planet Earth or the end of Planet Earth? And nah, the beginning. 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 And the end sure. is just going to be <laughs> shitty. It'd be yeah, so be shitty. Oh yeah, but I, I, at least, at least I would yeah, know. At least the oh, beginning oh, will oh, answer give me, questions. Oh, yeah. Give me that rock. Give me the rock. I hate this other rock. Ooh. But, yeah, but at okay, least wait, we would know Are we talking about happened. a literal beginning, like the, like the Earth four forming? billion years ago? <laughs> yeah, like it's just a wait. What? Swirling I thought the Earth dust. was twenty nineteen years old. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, that's right. That's twenty nineteen. Right. It is two thousand years old. Yeah, I forgot about that. Or no, it's six thousand. I don't know. I forget. This probably is the stupidest question I've seen in the history of life. Would you rather have three kids and no money or no kids with three million dollars? No kids. Well, yeah, Uh, no shit. Yeah, all day. Way to the other one. (laughs) All day. Wait, what was the question? Would you rather have three kids and no money? So, first off, you can't even provide for these little fuckers because you have no money. Let's do it. Or. No kids with three million dollars. What? That's just the ignorant. kids, bro. Yeah, Fuck them kids. Fuck them kids. All right, I got a good one. I got a good one. Do you guys think that school uniforms would help learning in general? No. I would rather. You don't think so? I, I disagree so. as well. I don't think it would. I think it would. I think it. I think. I think. It, it, I, think uh, it, I think school uniforms down. are kind of decent. I would I like for that. because just imagine, you know, you're in school, all right. You come in with this fly outfit you think you got on, and your boys just roast you. And now you're sat in math <laughs> class, sad <laughs> as fuck, not doing your work. <laughs> so the thing but is, this, if, the, if your boy has the same exact outfit on as you, then y'all don't have anything to talk about. Yeah, I say you are work. more focused on other things if you're all wearing the same shit. No one like kids don't have to worry about like having to like they don't got like. Maybe someone that doesn't have a lot of money and they wore the same sweatshirt fucking three times in a week and everyone's talking about them. Like, you won't have that if someone has uniforms. But then again, like, I mean, Thanks. the educate, like, high school education just sucks balls in general. So, like, that's what I'm saying. That's what I was about to say. Clearly, yeah. it doesn't change yeah. the teachers. It doesn't change the <laughs> yeah, teachers. Yeah, clearly. They didn't teach me shit. Yeah, they definitely fucked up with Logan. <laughs> I'm about to pull up a statistic here. Hold on, let me see. Which is what? Uh, I was gonna look up how many uh, science, like high school science teachers, actually have like a degree in like whatever they're teaching. I, I was watching like uh, I don't know if it was a podcast with like Lawrence Krauss, and it, it was like a ridiculous number. Like I was like, what, what the fuck? What? Are you shout people out? We talked about that. Yeah, no free shout outs. That guy's not oh, bigger yeah, yeah, than yeah. us. Free shout outs. Fuck Lawrence Krauss. You punk bitch. <laughs> he don't know shit. But I don't know. I definitely think, like, if I had to choose between my school having school uniforms and not having school uniforms, if I was, like, running it, I would say school uniforms. Same. No, I'm not against school uniforms. I just don't think it really helps with the learning to an extent. How so, though? How would it be the same or worse? No, I I, I, I just think in, like, retrospect, there would still be (coughs) people that just don't learn shit through high school. Well, yeah, but that's not really a question. Well, I'm just saying it just takes away one distraction of, you know, no, judging people agree based on what they were. So it's just one less thing to talk about. Yeah. But I feel like, yeah, like, I would agree with like that. part of like what you wear like makes you who you are. Like, oh, I know, I know who some you people are have school, less age. than others, but I mean, I feel like yeah. everyone's got like a right to express sure. themselves. People just start dyeing their hair and shit. I swear, I feel like if you wore uniforms, you know what I mean? Well, fuck it. What's the point, though? Just trying to be different. Just trying to be different as much as you can. Because not everybody wants to. Because I feel like everyone, you hate blending into that crowd so fucking much. Yeah, but that's just like a marketing mm-hmm. scam at that point. You just want to go buy shit to look different from the other person. You're just wasting money and time. Or if you just want to express yourself. Why can't you just talk? Not everyone can talk like that. What? People want to be different through what they wear. And yeah, shit. you can be different outside of school. Yeah, but school is not a place to. It's not like it's not like you it's not can't a place to show off, you know, like or whatever. Yeah, no, but I mean, put yourself in a high schooler's position, like, you know, I mean, now that we're out of high school, like we don't really think about that, but I don't know. Yeah, I feel like saying. in high if, school we low key did. 
Yeah, but if school uniforms was like the standard everywhere, then it then that wouldn't even be a thing. Dude, I would have been completely well, yeah. cool with our school having school uniforms. It's just like unnecessary. Like just from like like I mean, people literally would dress up for school like, all right, cool, whatever. But then there'd be some people who'd be like, Gordon, you literally have wore sweatpants for three straight weeks. I'd be like, bitch, <laughs> why do you care? <laughs> like I don't totally. understand. I I throw on jeans for one time. I was like, oh my god, what the fuck. <laughs> Boy, bringing out the denim. <laughs> but I don't know. I just think school uniforms true. should be better. But it's just I feel like there's too much. Like I mean, like like I said before, like clearly the high school education is like if it was perfect, then it would be nice to have school uniforms so the kids would actually be more focused on that rather than outside things. But I mean, school uniforms like, in a normal think- school like Edgewood's not going to make enough of a difference. Hmm. <laughs> Let's see here. This says the U.S. ranks 17th in educational performance, according to the report, the learning curve. 17th out of 40. That's shitty. We have way too many, like, people, fucking resources to be 17th and something like that. I mean, most, and it's crazy how, like, most all of, like, like Einstein and shit, their teachers also, like, they were going to fail and just work an amount of shit. Um... And then they just grow up to be scientists. Yeah. So the grading system in general in school, whack. It is weird. Like you we know, it's different all over. Actually. Like it doesn't See, even. They, we, if we go ahead, Jake. Like it just measures obedience. It's literally just the school system the way it is is set up to be able to work a nine to five job. Yeah. You literally just have assignments. You have a due dates on them. You're there from a set amount of time five days a week you have set lunch breaks it's literally just i feel like that's every job though right yeah that's that's, that's school (laughs) this dude jake's whoa so so it's getting you prepared for the world no it's getting you prepared to slave away your life (laughs) no i mean yeah we're gonna do that i'd rather be prepared than unprepared for that you know what i mean yeah but you're not really prepared i mean the school really prepare you you don't even learn you don't even learn how to file your own taxes in school you don't even learn. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's crazy. Like, marketing, even though Chastain's class was kind of a joke, love you, Chastain, if you're watching this, which I don't doubt you are, but uh, if that <laughs> shit was taken serious, who was the bitch that was before him? Chillman or... Uh, <laughs> Damn, we're throwing out <laughs> <your> names. <laughs> Bro, like, come on. Sorry, you could have just left that marketing class. <laughs> For real. Just, the what? You could have just left it as a marketing class. That's, that's all you got to say. You don't got to throw out names. <laughs> Could have said and my teacher. <laughs> I, mean, I didn't mean that in a offensive way. Sorry, I'm sorry. I did not mean that in a offensive way. But um, she took that class like super serious, and she uh, like you could really learn a lot of stuff. Whenever if you had her, um, I don't know who, what her name was, and I'm not supposed to name drop. So, so that girl, she did a good job. Um, and yeah, um, I feel like definitely marketing and like, do you guys think like uh, we should go year round? Um, I mean, like, as a student, I wouldn't want to go year-round, but I mean, like, if I was in charge of the like country... Like, China does it. Which China range, Christian? I don't know. And if I was know. actually trying to fix the education in the United States, then yes, it should be year-round. I mean, like, it's clear that, yeah. like, over two months, kids are going to become... Like, they're going to fucking forget things. They're going to... Like, uh, there's just so literally many just fucking a issues. Game. It's literally how much can you remember. The one thing with the United States, um, because, like, the, the idea the United States have, like, at the top is... Everything we do is right, and maybe stuff that worked in the 70s and whatnot, that worked then, but then we get passed up because we keep, we stay true to, like, what we've done before. Like, we are, we don't like to change. Like, the United States doesn't like to change what they do. They don't want to get with the times. Like, like something in school, like, stuff that they're doing in school is outdated. They're, there's so much newer stuff. Yeah. Like, kids need to become more familiar with technology. They need to become more familiar with, like, like this other shit, but, like, they stick to stuff that... In the 90s that they were like, teaching and whatnot, like common core shit. And that's yeah, why we right. drop every year in education and we keep getting passed up by countries that are just blatantly more woke. Yeah, right. That's Education's facts. Is, is that is like, absolute facts. But yeah, let's, let's, we should, the country should get past uh, trying to bring religion into school. That needs to not religion, You think religion is in school nowadays? I'm saying people need to stop trying to push it. 
like I don't know if it's like a super reoccurring thing, but I mean it's definitely been a point of contention in the past, or like bringing evolution into like the what science is that? Law? People... Separation of church. Yeah, and state. Yeah, I that I mean I think anyone's talk that shit. I mean, because it's not. I mean, it's. I don't have a problem, like a big problem with it. If you're like, okay, let's teach about the Bible, but okay, if you're gonna do that, then let's bring every other religion. Yeah, there should be, and you should be able to choose which class you yeah. want to take. And, and there shouldn't be thing. a there's really science not, class either. There's really not. You don't get that many choices. Like, oh wow, you get what three electives, or some yeah. bullshit. Think that's at our school. Like, damn, there are so many yeah. other schools that have less resources and everything. Bro, like some schools don't even have electives. Like you just take classes. Yeah. Oh, there's just so many issues. Like I said, uh, the United States. I mean, anytime the United States has an issue with anything, they're just reluctant to change. Like they they think that we're <laughs> that much better that we can just stick to what we've done before instead of just looking to change something. Yeah, it's just that's how true. it is. Well said, man. Well said. I feel like that is like a big thing. Like with like Americans, is that we think that our country is like the go the absolute greatest like we do no wrong yeah. we fuck up we fuck up um there's freedom's pretty dope though what'd you say freedom is pretty dope though oh no like, like i've been imagine, i've been to so many places freedom. and i would still rather live in america than any of them yeah i mean we, we're just the shit military wise uh i don't know it's yeah, I, I don't know. I feel like we're getting there. Let's let's see this uh, marijuana get passed. Yes, hundred percent. That it, got, oh, what? it recently got decriminalized in Cincinnati. Yeah, I seen that. It was like a hundred pounds or or hundred grams. I don't not hundred pounds. But what, Logan? Um, they actually like they're actually putting in not like uh like you know like i don't know if it's actually flour or not but they are doing uh like medical marijuana um cards and you can get them like they're like building a place down there's one in lebanon i'm pretty sure isn't there one in uh seven mile too they're supposed to be building one is what i heard no i'm pretty but, sure that's what they're building like now. my i know someone that has um, a medical marijuana card like they're like part of my family um and it's crazy. I saw, I heard on the fucking radio, they were like advertising it for Ohio, like get your medical marijuana cards. But they were saying like, if you have uh, a marijuana card, you can't own a firearm. Um, really? That's so interesting. I don't really know how I feel about that, but. Why? Wait, why is that? Even... Oh my God. They're, that's so stupid. <laughs> okay. If you drink alcohol, now you can't own a gun. How about that? Let's make that a thing. See the uproar. But yeah. you, there's no car. There, there's no card that says you drink alcohol. You know what I mean? Because you can just get it off this fucking shelf. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. you can't um, do that. I feel like I you can drink. Can you, I feel like you can ahead, drink dude. alcohol or like consume tobacco. You should have no say over the uh, over like weed being legal or not. Like you shouldn't you should, be allowed to vote on that. Like those things single handedly kill you so much faster than any type of weed would. The fact that My, tobacco is oh, even legal is just like. What? <laughs> like, no, no, it's insane. It's addictive. It causes cancer. There's no, there's no benefits at all. No. Like, what's the What's the point? Like seriously. Like you don't even get high off of it. Stress relief. <laughs> it's it stupid. Stress relief. Yeah, that's. that's yeah, that's but it doesn't. Literally the only thing but I think of. It's only a and stress relief because even, you become addicted to it. Yeah. yeah that's it, why. It's not, yeah. It, exactly. It's not even like a medical like stress relief. It's a str- <laughs> like you're like your body that, like. Yeah. Like you're literally putting the stress, stress on you yourself. Build up. You you build the yeah you build swimming. the stress. Um, For but sure. did you guys see, hear about that girl? I don't know exactly where it was. I it, I actually think it was Louisiana. Um, but the, a girl like OD from uh, marijuana. Did you guys see about that shit? Hmm? I think I know what you're talking about, but I seen that I don't know which. Was it vice? Like I people know. were saying it was like it was like because uh, the only thing that was in her system because she overdosed at a marijuana cor- corner store. Um, I think it, I, I'm actually like almost 100 percent sure it was Louisiana. Um, I saw it online, and like people were saying, like it literally had in captions like pot smokers will say, uh, or pot smokers aren't believing this, but um, the only thing that was in her system when she died was uh, THC, but it wasn't enough to kill her, is what people are saying. But they're saying that like once you die, THC like 
leaves your body in a significantly fast way. So like, there's no like telling how much you actually had in your body when she died. Yeah, that's I'm reading up on it right she now. She OD'd. Yeah, but it doesn't even enough. matter. It literally doesn't even matter because even I don't think that's the, the reason why she died. But even if it was one death out of <laughs> so many fucking alcohol and tobacco related deaths, it, 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 it would just be crazy. Insane. Though it would just be crazy. Just because, like, that would be crazy. But nowadays, that, it's like a double standard. But nowadays, they are putting more shit in marijuana. Yeah, I definitely agree. It's definitely like stronger than the shit they were dudes were smoking in the freaking sixties. So if she did OD, oh, there yeah. could have been, you know, shit put into it that she didn't know about. Well, that's just supposed to be what's happening with those fucking vape, they, those dank vapes and shit. There was like pesticides and fertilizers being put in them. Uh, oh, wait, not, what is that's, this? That's uh, like, like pens. The, you know the pens, like the dank vapes. Uh huh. They were putting people pesticides were like, in them. They're they're put they're like putting. They, I mean, people didn't really know about them, but like there was like pesticides in them and some of them and stuff. And you had to like for a little bit, you had to like watch what you had because you couldn't like if it tasted like terrible or something, you would know. Most people just fucking do it anyways. And most people like going to the hospital about it. That's wild. Yeah. People like lace shit. I don't know. Like, like the, all that fentanyl but, shit. Like that's wild. Yeah. People dying off that. Yeah, that's crazy. I just think it's crazy if a girl OD because literally, I people were saying that like the amount that you have to take to OD would be like five pounds in like one sitting or something like that, something ridiculous. I, I yeah, thought it but, was like crazier than that. I don't know. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Something ridiculous. Okay, but let's say she did overdose. If you're prescribed any type of medication, I you could more than likely overdose on that medication and die. Okay, there's so many side effects to any medication and those are like legal prescribed by doctors and daily you, like every day yeah. people are getting yeah you just fucking do you think if a doctor prescribes do you think if a doctor prescribes um something to a person and they end up overdosing on it you think that doctor should have to face any kind of consequences no not if they uh, took like an unhealthy amount i mean even if it's like I mean, it could be like fucking pain medicine. Yeah, and, and they, they go and like, take if they, they go take and take a, triple their dosage say, and die. That's on them. Doctor didn't. I mean, obviously, yeah, for sure that they shouldn't be they shouldn't be prosecuted for that. But like, if they die if off they their take dose, one in their body in their body, yeah, they take their normal dose. Like, I'm sure that's happened before. Maybe like yeah. maybe like if there was like a all right. So say this. So say someone has an allergy and it's known by the office, and they still prescribe something that they know will give them an, a reaction to this and then they die then yeah like there has to be at least something but i'm sure there is yeah. like i mean got, they don't uh, know obviously because if they know they're oh well, yeah yeah i mean if they, if they, if they don't, know, if they don't like, know they they should still get charged because you can't you gotta take that shit yeah do they st should they still yeah should they still have to because i feel like if someone dies it's from an overdose like um most of the time the doctor at least never gets like questioned unless it's like something crazy like you know what i mean something that like obviously some kind of doctor did something well because most like, were, overdoses I, are self inflicted and on purpose yeah mm -hmm. uh, so, well, it could yeah, even be most of the time i don't have to be an overdose for ods because it's self-inflicted but it doesn't have to be an overdose though it could like gordon said an allergic reaction to something yeah um, then they should, it should be on them <laughs> hey, I mean, unless listen they to don't this. tell them their allergy listen to this so it says Opioids, which include prescription pain relievers and heroin, killed more than 28,000 Americans in 2014. Nearly 88,000 people die from alcohol-related causes every year, which makes alcohol the fourth leading preventable cause of death in the U.S. And then this goes on to say, um, a, fatal, a fatal dose of marijuana would require ingestion of 1,500 pounds in 15 <laughs> minutes. <laughs> oh would, my! What would you even? How could you even? You couldn't do that. You couldn't. You literally couldn't do that. 1,500 pounds. You couldn't afford that. Yeah, yeah. You'd be broke. You'd be in debt. <laughs> you would pass out too before you even got past a thousand. Bro, a lot less than that. Yeah. A thousand pounds, bro. <laughs> Pounds. pounds. Yeah, nah. That's like no. smoking your car. I like, like you want to try. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, well, good luck. Next car. week on MythBusters. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> we smoke 1,500 out. pounds of marijuana. <laughs> hey, we'll do it in Wiz's car, bro. Can we do it? In Wiz's car? Wait, it says, uh, even Snoop Dogg couldn't do this. It's a, a physical impossibility for any human, even Snoop Dogg. Hmm. That's what it even says right after that sentence. Liar. I swear. I'll send you a screenshot, bussy. You're a fucking liar. Would you assume what's between my legs? <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> it's crazy how that's a thing nowadays. What, like a like gender shit? Yeah. Like, you just assume, like, it's ma'am! Like, I don't know how I feel about all the gender stuff. The one thing I do find um, really, really just like uh kind of whack it's like if a guy changes like or whatever like a so like identifies as a girl and then goes and plays like a high school sport and plays the girls like i saw one yeah. there was a guy like and then he identified as a girl and then just went and did like high school wrestling like girls wrestling and he just like destroyed them because wasn't there somebody that went into like professional woman's ufc or something like that transgender guy to a girl and right, really? Yes, I'm pretty sure. I might have to look it up, but I'm pretty sure that actually happened. And like he, Jeez. he was a guy. He changed to a girl, got into like professional UFC or MMA or like that. I saw that. And won a I saw title. a wrestler. Like he has the title. Or she. Hold up, yeah, Fallon Fox, American MMA. Yeah, I'm fighter. reading about her now. Yeah, isn't that fucked? Did you see what Joe Rogan said about her? He said, you're, no. you're a fucking man. <laughs> really? <laughs> that's it. Like, just straight up. I don't really care if you want to do that. But yeah, yeah, that's fine. But, like, the sports to... thing is, like, what? Yeah, it's like, hey, it's sports might as well league. be co-ed at that point. Like, if you got people chopping off their dick to be a woman's champion. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Joe Rogan, it's a quote from Joe Rogan. She calls herself a woman, but I tend to disagree. She um she used to be a man. Now she has had that didn't make any sense. But now she has had. She's a transgender, which is the official term that means you've gone through it, right? And she wants to be able to fight women in MMA. I say no fucking way. I say if you had a dick at one point in time, you also have all that bone structure that comes with having a dick. You have bigger hands. You have bigger shoulder joints. You're a fucking man. That's a man. Okay. You can't have that. I don't care if you don't have a dick anymore. True. It's just facts. Hmm. Like I'm cool. I'm cool with it. How you want to identify and whatnot, but like the sports thing, like you cannot just go and say you're a girl and go fight girls. Like that. Yeah, and and it's like he's doing it to get because he knows he can't make it in regular MMA. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like he's trying to get the upper hand. Like no offense, but just like he said, bigger bone structures, bigger hands. You know, like Fallon Fox. It's just how it is. If you take the average MMA male into female, the males are going to be bigger. Yeah. I mean, that's the case for like sport. Like, I just don't understand how they think they could just go play a dip, a sport, like a women's sport. Yeah. That, I don't know. But yeah, I don't give a fuck how you identify. Yeah, me either. But there's like so many different types of genders that are, I don't even know what they are. I'm yeah. a banana. <laughs> I'm a table. I'm a fucking table. Yeah, I could care less what people identify as. It's something like just like the gay marriage. It doesn't affect me. Like it's yeah. if you call yourself a girl, you call yourself a guy, you call yourself a PS4. It don't matter to me. Like <laughs> go ahead. I'm yeah. still gonna wake up and I'm still gonna probably go on with my day. I'm not gonna wake up. And, you know what? Fuck this, man. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Yeah, fuck this shit. Fuck this. You this, dude really right just, this dude just really called himself a telephone. <laughs> I'm, I am pissed. I'm fucking tired of this shit. <laughs> so, what, uh, what, back what in other 14, that chick... Hold on, hold on, before you say that. That chick, she literally broke her opponent's skull in 2014. Jeez, like, that's... Wow. Takaya Brent. Brent. Takaya Brent said about it, I've never felt so overpowered in my life. Like, I would be oh so pissed God. if I'm a would, girl yeah. and I have to fight a dude. Seriously. Like, come on, bro. Jake, what were you about to say about public bathrooms, though? That is one yeah. thing where it gets a little, like, ugh, I don't know. That's getting like, dicey. So, That's yeah. Dicey region. I mean, public bathrooms, I just think there should, there should be no 
bathrooms that allow more than one person. They should all be like private. You know what I mean? Yeah, I can see that. You think every bathroom should be like that? But like, how could you do that at like a like a sports arena? Yeah, that's see, that's where it's tough. But you'd have to have you'd also have to have multiple rooms. But I mean, I, they do you have would, you they do have do like that. twenty urinals type shit. Yeah, but you wouldn't be able to have like different rooms. It'd be impossible. Yeah, okay, maybe like one room entering, but you know how like toilet seats or like just regular toilet seats have their own separate closed yeah. off thing. Yeah, it should be like that, but more. I don't know. The, the the bathroom thing is like uh, it's a little weird because it also goes back to what people identify as. Like, if you are a male and you identify as a female, can you just go in there and like, is that okay? That is, that's wild, man. That's uh, wild. Because like, if I'm a woman and I see like someone that uh, I like looks like a man, acts like a man, but identifies as a female, I'm gonna feel a little like uneasy. Facts. Yeah, and like, you, there's some weirdos. They'll just turn yeah. into a girl just to get. The right to walk into a girl's restroom. Yeah, vice versa. It is. You're just fucking crazy at that point. <laughs> well, I mean, that I is. Put a people anybody. out there, though. There are yeah. a lot of people. But yeah, in I'm this not country. saying there isn't, but you're just fucking. You're seriously psychotic. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, like, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna take to a girl. Just like, see you sit down. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's, that that's all really down. weird saying that. That felt really weird. I feel like you've done this now. <laughs> Please rehearse I that. I'm <laughs> okay. All right. I'm, a, I'm dumb and I don't. <laughs> <Very hard. laughs> oh, bro, would you guys butt chug? Huh? What? Would you guys butt chug alcohol? No. Oh wait, I got. It. Do you guys I ever watch My Strange Addictions? I have before. I've watched a few well, episodes. I'm pretty sure it's one of the first episodes. These people literally butt chug coffee. <laughs> you were, like, you were I'm not kidding. About this. Three times a day. Butt Three chug, times a butt day. Butt chug full, like not cups of coffee, full, whatever they're called. You know what I mean? Like. Oh, I know what you're talking. Like the, sh um, like like the shit pictures. that like IVs are hooked up to. Like that. Like yeah, bag. it's called like uh, what's it called? Animas or something like that. <laughs> oh yeah, the animal. Yeah. The fucker. Yeah, they literally like tube coffee into their ass. <laughs> and, oh my god, that's lit. And they that's said, lit. and they literally are saying it's good for them, and they say that doctors don't know what they're talking about, and that it uh resets their organs, and that's why they do <laughs> okay. it because okay, they feel like it's it's good organs. for them. Yeah, we need to look up look this up asap. <laughs> asap. They must be. Sounds dead. like sounds but, like we got to try it out. Uh, like I feel like those are fake. Out. I feel like they're planned. Cause how can you be that? Some stupid? of them sound ridiculous. Like, What's the? I seen one where it was like she always has to have like <laughs> bleach what? or something like that. Like I don't know. Huh? She always huffs bleach or bathes. How she not? Or something. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, like, like, fuck, people like fuck their car. Yeah. Yeah. This one dude like has they're... a bunch of uh inflatables as his friends. <laughs> Jeez, <laughs> but it's kind of sad because it, he says because he's lonely and shit. Damn. But I don't know if he's being. Bring him real. on the podcast. Yeah, first guest. Inflatable. Hey, what's a what's PST mean? Is that like what? Because if something's dropping at two p.m. PST, what is a Pacific Central? Standard Time? Pacific. What's yeah. Pacific Central? What is three, that? Three hours difference from Eastern. Eastern three hours, days. so that's California time. Right? Yeah. 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 Damn, it's dropping. Uh, a new revenge gallery. Revenge gallery. What's that? Revenge. It's a Exos clothing line. You gonna cop? I got two shirts a couple days ago. Think about it. Eighteenth next Tuesday is his one year. He's been fucking gunned down. Damn. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> the fuck. Rest is rest. R.I.P. Ja. I like uh, the the new song though. Bitch came on it. I like his part. Yeah, I do like that one. You try me, you lose your job, Scotch. We get copyright. I feel like Logan you like Singh. a lot of X songs. I love <laughs> all of the songs. You would. You would, dude. You would. You guys hear that new Mike Posner? Why? What? Mike Posner. <laughs> <laughs> he played. performed at the Super Bowl. Hey, what's like a song Mike Posner? Really 
Cool. Uh, I'll take a wow wow. What you gonna say? <laughs> you think you're cooler than me? Yeah, he's yeah, thinking. That, cool. that guy's that so good. Can't Wait, tell me. Yeah, well, have you seen what this guy looks like? Remember my name? You probably won't. You think you're cooler than me? <laughs> hey! hey. <laughs> you like Tista? Tista Korean? Who? Like who? Tista Korean? And Chance? Like the grocery it. song? Oh. oh. Used to carry all the good. I, I, like I told you, I liked it until he's like, I like my girls all black like a crow. Or something like that. <laughs> Wait, who's this? Uh, chance? Or one, one of the, no, not Chance. One of the fucking other idiots, dude. That shit was so dumb. <laughs> one of the fucking so other idiots. Dumb. One of the other fucking <laughs> idiots. <laughs> the idiot said, I all act like a crow. Like, just like that. He was like, uh, 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 when it snow. Like, kept, yeah, that's kept for the sure, That's for Seriously sure. Seriously pissed me off. I follow him on Twitter and Instagram, dude. This dude's hilarious. Oh, like, so he's, he's like so, a joke then? He's, I mean, like, I think he's a, joke, a joke, but I'm pretty sure he okay. thinks he's serious. <laughs> like, ah, that's what makes it funny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, Get my yeah, yeah. Ridiculous. A black like a crow. Yeah, that's fast. I love how I never fast. check what time I start a podcast at. <laughs> Does it not have a running time on it? No, not on my little thingy, my bobber. So we talk until we're dead. <laughs> we're definitely so we're coming dead. up on like an hour for sure. Yeah, Got yeah, it. cool, buddy. Nice. Yeah. Oh, man, <laughs> bitch. Stupid ass. Oh, dude, I I keep seeing Drake on my time. This this is an issue. Oh my god, Drake just released two new tracks. Have you heard it? <laughs> like I said, I'm Retta. I'm liking it. Yeah, but Tell guess you, what? I think this... Drake's the reason what? the Raptors won the finals. True. He played so yeah. well. Nah. He did. He played. Oh, yeah. He was balling. All right, so y'all going to answer my questions. Uh, do vampires get AIDS from sucking blood that is affected <laughs> or not? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, probably. I say no. I say no. You say no? Why, why, why do you say no? I mean, no? Vampi vampires are, aren't they? Yeah. So, I mean, they can have AIDS, but what's it going to do? Do you guys, um, <laughs> fuck that topic. <laughs> uh, <laughs> do you guys, um, think, how far do you think AI will come? Like, you think we'll have, like, walking in our house and shit, like, doing stuff for us? Yeah, yeah Alan Iverson? I don't know. I, I don't know. Alan Alan Iverson Iverson I'm messing. I'm messing. <laughs> That's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, I was around your house. <laughs> I was like, I think Alan Iverson's hey, going about as far as he can. <laughs> nah, but for real, um, I mean, honestly, who fucking knows? I mean, it literally gets crazier and crazier by the year. The technology in 20 years will literally look mad to us. We're going to be the old people saying, oh, back in my day before all this crazy shit. <laughs> we had iPhone. <laughs> Yeah, that is wild. I feel like if there's yeah, any, like there's no stop, to I, I think it's gonna be insane. I'm going to be living in simulations, and shit. And yeah, do you think it's gonna be a good thing or a bad thing? I, I, I don't know. I think technology is really like always a good thing, but it's also like uh, no, nah, I just feel like it is a good thing. Like I mean, it's yeah. just where the world's going. But imagine if they just find a way to, like. Take your conscious and put it somewhere else. No, that'd be insane. Because virtual like, reality is on like the brink of that. You know what I mean? Because you're not you're in a whole new world, but you're not. Yeah, you know I mean, saying? you saw the Black Mirror episode, bruh. Yeah, <laughs> the, that shit is possible. Oh my gosh! Christian, they have find you a way that? Just, like, that'd be crazy. Christian? I hope it eventually gets like a Ready Player One situation. That'd be sick. Uh, yeah, because. That'd be I mean, so it's cool. It's just getting there at this point. You put on some glasses and, you know, you're just a whole whole new place. Well, you guys, like, whenever... Well, actually, that shit's already kind of, like, real, to be honest. Like, yeah, VR and, that, and, it, and it's just... It's, like, just starting. So, imagine in, like, yeah. 20 years. Like, we're just now seeing I mean, yeah, it, so. think about 20 years ago, and then think about 
now. <laughs> now. And then 50 years 20, ago. And then, like, think about 20 years in the future what it'll be. Like, this shit literally, like, oof, will be scary. So do you think they'll wait, find a way to store consciousness so you no, die? I, I don't think before we're dead, no. Before we're dead? Uh, I think it's possible. I think it just seems something so crazy, but I mean, like, so does a lot of stuff. So a lot of stuff sounds crazy that's been done. Well, penicillin wasn't a thing 50 years ago. In 1969, that wasn't a thing. I don't think so. I mean, like, imagine showing them someone in the 70s an iPhone. Like, they'd be like, <laughs> what? Seriously. What the yeah, but there's a difference never... between an iPhone and then storing consciousness. Yeah, yeah, yeah but, but that's. I don't know. Sure. I feel like <laughs> an iPhone that, makes you a whole different person, though. Yeah, but it's not a person in itself. Okay, well, let's go, let's go before. But you would well, never think, back then in the 70s, you would have to take a fucking mail and, like, take it to someone, and then they would do that. Like, now I could literally talk to Christian, and he's halfway across the fucking world. That is true. That's retarded. We can play, and I yeah, can play. Yeah, but I do think there is a you. fine line between stuff like that and then talking about like changing, like literally, your conscious being stored somewhere else, and whatever you I mean, need to do with it, put that into another fucking simulation. I mean, you would literally just need a computer that could run the amount of like processes that your brain does. I don't. I'm guessing it's over billions per second. But I mean, it's just electrical synapses. So. How would Unless you? How would you yeah. Computer. See, this is how this is how I'm thinking it. Because you can preserve, you can preserve the human body, for so long, by freezing it. Okay. Not not alive so, though. You can be in a coma. But say I'm you're in a coma and you're hooked up to a computer, thing. and you're frozen. Like, what would be stopping you from at that point? I'm confused. What? If you have your mind hooked up to a computer because that's eventually going to happen you're going to be able to eventually just use your mind to control a computer let's say that mm -hmm. like you're going to be able to just use your mind you don't have to use your hands none of that shit i feel like eventually you can use your mind to like be on a computer and then if you just preserve the body then like that's pretty much I, you wouldn't be able to preserve it. the body you'd have to just get in a new body like a robotic body because you could you couldn't preserve like Organs and stuff would freeze, and I mean, I feel like we would do that shit by now. I mean, they they yeah. do make artificial limbs and yeah, like you would have to either make a new like body that. or like put it in AI. But I just don't know how you could process like emotions and like uh like adrenaline things like that through a computer, like stuff that's like natural to our body, like natural instincts, um, and like how fast we respond to things. But I'm not even talking about. Like real life, I'm talking to, like in a computer world. So you don't you're well, you're putting your you don't real have life to into a computer. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, I mean, I, mean, I, I wonder. Cool, but I'd be, I would get bored in a fucking computer, dude. I'd want to get in a an artificial body if I could. Yeah, but say you can do, but I can only be in a computer. Do whatever you want I wouldn't do a computer. You can do whatever you want in the computer world. <laughs> I ain't fucking. I mean, okay. And you I can, can feel. And, yeah. Oh, you can feel. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, like it'd be it. You couldn't tell. Like, oh, okay. So you're like in like an actual body, body, body. Yeah, but it's a simulation. Bro, like when you go play a video game, think about that. No, I understand now. I understand now. I was thinking of like just like you're sitting on the fucking homepage of Twitter. <laughs> just, what? So you're on Twitter? <laughs> what? <laughs> you, just, you, freeze, you freeze your body so you can be on Twitter. <laughs> to be on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this like, guy's just uh, scrolling like, the fucking news. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he chooses. Uh, well, I was Bro, thinking of like you guys are thinking of like fucking making worlds and stuff. That I didn't wasn't even thinking about that. I mean, that'd be crazy for sure. I mean, would you do? I it? just thought you'd just be. Um, if you could do it right actually, now, but yeah, let's say right let's now. say this is this is the would you rather? Would you rather live out your life now or? Can't like not end your life, but you're not in the real world. You're in a virtual world, and it's just lasts for pretty much forever. But it's not real life. Um, uh, probably not. Virtual honestly. world. 
Yeah, I probably. It's weird. I was actually world. talking to my dad about that last night. I literally asked him that exact question. I was like, "You can live forever. Would you do it?" Literally asked him that question yesterday. I would. And he told me, "Hell no." <laughs> I, I mean, would. I would live forever, but I don't want to be like a million years old. Like, I want to be me. Like, if I if I could choose purpose, myself though. right now, and like I stayed twenty one years old, but like I changed with the times, like. Like still, like stuff still progressed and whatnot, but I stay twenty one. I would do it, but I mean that's not. A I realistic. couldn't. I couldn't do it. I, it would just suck, just seeing all of your family and friends just keep constantly dying, just over the years. Yeah, that would be rough. I, would, I wouldn't want to do it. I mean, what would be the purpose of life at that point? Like you, you could. What's the purpose like, of life now? People. I mean, morals and stuff wouldn't be a factor, I feel like, especially in a virtual world. But, like, you, I mean, nowadays, everyone wants to make a living for themselves. Like, you want to prove, like, who you are, and you want to, like, be successful or whatever success is in your mind. But, like, if I know I'm not going to die and nothing's ever going to be go wrong with me, because I, I live forever, I wouldn't care about anything. You know what I mean? I feel like a lot of people wouldn't try. I see that. There'd be no meaning. I wouldn't. I'd probably just be a crackhead. In the yeah, I would say I would definitely be a bum after about ten years. <laughs> like after I reach like age like three hundred, like like, right. like even now, like I have trouble. Like I mean, like like motivation, like thinking, like all right, why am I fucking doing this? Like I'm just gonna <laughs> die one day. Like what's gonna happen after I die? I could be doing all this shit for no reason. I mean, that's that's what I think personally. But I mean, like I, I don't know. It doesn't stop me from. Like enjoying my daily life, yeah. Because I mean, like, yeah, we're like, gonna die eventually, but, you, but it's in your, we're still here. But in your head, you don't think there's nothing left. There's nothing after, after death. So like, that should give you more of a purpose to make this life the most fulfilling life possible. You know what I mean? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, but what are you fulfilling? Happiness, whatever success is in your mind, goals. Trying to be I just feel like I'm gonna live the same life over and over again, no matter the decisions I make. So, like, I just feel like this is gonna keep fucking happening. So, what do you mean, like, you think, like time shit? Shit? Huh? To me, I, to me, I just think whatever. Well, to touch on the point of death, I think it's just straight darkness to me. That's my own. But to me, I think uh, success is just living. It's just just living? living. Yeah. Just living. I mean, like I, yeah, like I said, that's a. Um, I mean, it just everyone defines success differently. So, Wait, so you, so you'd consider like, I don't like know. kids and kids that are like, I don't know, people that are homeless, have no family, have no friends, laying out there on the streets. That's not. That's not really success. They probably wouldn't even think that's success. Nah, I wouldn't really say that's success, but. They're still alive. That's true. I mean, I so guess. you're looking at it from like a literal biological standpoint. Yeah, pretty much. I don't know what I do. I mean, yeah. defining success for yourself, that's actually a kind of cool like thing to talk about. I don't know how I would define success. Like, I think I define success, like, I don't think it's too crazy. Like, I just like um, not feeling, oh, man, I don't really know. I guess like having my See, friends and family like on my side, like I feel like I have people to lean on. And, like, feeling secure enough that I know, like, if I were to, like, get robbed tomorrow, that I would still be okay to, like, keep going. Like, I still have enough, like, I'm, like, financially secure enough to, like, still move on. Yeah. I don't know. Financial security is one thing that I've always, that I find, like, really, like, when I think of my success in my life, like, I, I the thought of not being, like, paying bill to bill, like, living bill to bill makes me, like, like, scared. Like, I could not do it. Yeah, that'd yeah be that's wild. why I stopped going to school, for real. Yeah, that'd be scary. Like, what do you mean, living bill to bill, like not being able to pay bill next? A bill well, like next you just feel like you don't know or? if you're gonna have like just enough to like fucking keep your water on or keep your lights on. So you think at that point that's not successful. I like, I mean, maybe for other like, people. I'm it just could trying be, to figure but, out what you yeah, mean. Yeah, but, the best but way. for me, but for me, like that's not success to me. Like I. Like I could not feel successful like if you're doing like, that. knowing that I'm barely scraping by and like I'm so stressed yeah, that, out yeah. all the time. I agree with that. Because um, I was actually talking to someone at my work about that, and like uh, it was weird. She was telling me, um, "Well, I feel like I've had I have had success, but I'm not successful 
and yeah. like that was like i thought that was really cool she was like yeah i've hit certain goals and things like that but like i don't think right now generally i am successful i've i've, I've had success but um i was like that's i mean that's that's a cool way to look at it hey, but successful is almost like an intern like i would never want to call myself yeah, successful that- because then like you've kind of like like you've like almost made your own plateau Put a stamp like you're on like it. okay like i'm i've done enough like i don't i don't know i kind of i kind of like to keep working towards I new mean, goals yeah but like in you know what i mean like if i'm fucking if i'm you know if, uh i'm trying to think of someone rich if, if i'm bill gates i'm like yeah i'm successful like yeah. look at me you know what i mean but i mean like even bill so gates I like, like that i mean that for- dude's still doing things like i mean oh yeah and, like his thing. success is something else now like he's trying I'm, to like I'm give back done. Yeah, that. How about this? Do you think you can be successful without being rich? Oh yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Just defines what you think success is. If you think money is all the success means, then if once you're rich, you're successful. Not you're not rich. You're not successful. Yeah, but to me, think that, successful is happiness. you know being being able to do what you want to do and not be stressed out about something you have to do. You but know see, what I'm saying? And then, but then someone, you, you, you say that and then you see like, like for instance, like people, they're like, yeah, like I love my job, but like I'm barely making ends meet. You know what I mean? I'm paycheck to paycheck. I'm not living the, in the house I want to live. I'm not in the right car that I want to be in, but I'm happy with what I'm doing. You know what I mean? Yeah. So like, it, I feel like there's like a, it's kind of like a, I don't know the word to put it, but it's, it's a weird topic because you could be happy with what you're doing, but you want more, and you, but you can't really do anything. Like, for instance, like teachers, they just don't really get paid that much. They love what they do, but I'm sure yeah. they would love to get more money. True. Yeah. I don't know, because, I mean, mostly teachers, like, you don't get into teaching for money. If you're getting into teaching for money, then you are, like, I don't understand, like, mm-hmm. someone's told you wrong, because you get into te- <laughs> you get into education and make change, like, like that's what you're but so like i mean like their 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 success their success is different because like i mean honest a a teacher with good like values and whatnot their success would be like i helped enough kids like i feel like i'm helping enough kids every year that i'm making change for my like the future like for my kids future me teaching these kids in class that maybe my kids and my grandkids will grow up with these people and they'll make change and it'll be for a better planet but so their success is probably going to be different than say LeBron James success or Bill Gates success. Oh yeah, for sure. Teaching. Yeah, things. success is just you, achieving what you want to achieve. People like, always say it's not, not really you someone that drowning definition. on the back of a jet ski. I mean, but like fog. I mean, even if I had a jet ski and I was in a, I was having a bad day. You know what I mean? That jet ski. Even like, do you guys think? So you think you can? Can you be completely rich and not be happy at all? Oh, completely yeah. rich and yeah. not be happy? I mean, yeah. You can have a lot of money. Yeah. You have no Hell friends, yeah. no family, and you're going to be – you're going to get lonely mm-hmm. and you're going to be down. I found like – because uh, there was a cool – I was like – it was a really cool – um, like I don't know what it was. It was like a lot of something someone said. And it was like – I don't remember exactly how it went, but it was something down the line of like money brings out like uh, – like not real friends or stuff like that. Like you know what I mean. Like those people that are rich, they have nothing. They like go to the bars and they find people that you know use them and stuff like that, rather than like true friends are there with you when you're nothing. You know what I mean? Yeah, like I wouldn't say money buys happiness, guy? but it it buys like instant gratification. I think I think money money doesn't buy happiness, but it buys time. Like like it literally like I feel like it does a, a little bit of enough that you can, because if you don't have any money and you're feeling down. You can't like do anything yeah. to like kind of like keep yourself afloat for a little bit, just to like give yourself some time to like find yeah, your happiness. Yeah, and when you Who's have a lot of money, you that can... one movie. The one what? movie. Who's that guy that's doing that one movie or the new video game that Kill Shock or whatever? He did all the Matrix Matrixes. Keanu. So it's, it's something weird. Keanu, Keanu. He he made a video about it. He was saying like how um he's like just doesn't, doesn't have any friends or something like that. And there's like he's like lonely or something. Yeah, that would sad. suck, man. I would not have any friends. He's like, yeah, I don't have any. I don't have any friends. Um, I mean, I, I like, he's he's probably rich. It's fuck. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, money like so, like I don't know. Money buys like pleasure. Money buys pleasure, but it doesn't really buy happiness. Yeah, like instant gratification. You just you know you 
buy a fucking movie on your TV and then you're good for two hours and then you go buy some ice cream and then you go buy a fucking a video game. Yeah. And you go buy a hooker. Yeah. <laughs> like you bought yourself some, you bought yourself some time of happiness, but you, you're not you're not truly happy. Unless you are, like unless you're just already fucking happy, then it doesn't really matter. <laughs> yeah. But Oh, I don't know. We've been talking a while. We should probably start wrapping this up. I feel, at some yeah, point. I feel like we've been on it for a minute. <sighs> we can start yeah. to wrap this up. Um, if you listen to this on YouTube, Spotify, what Google else is this shit on? Google Play, Google Play. Podcast, um, iTunes, it's going up there, but they've been slow. Uh, so if you're listening anywhere, thank you guys for listening. Um, we're going to keep trying to do this. This is two and three days, I think. So, I mean, good stuff from us. We'll try and keep it good up. Good stuff. Great stuff from us. This one was a long one as well. Uh, some interesting. Yeah, we topics. had some good topics. This one. This was a, this was a very good one. Any last things Definitely you guys want to say to anyone? Uh, if you're listening. Appreciate it. Yeah, you know. preach. See Big preach. Mason, hey, would hey, you like to say anything hey. to the boys and girls out there? Nah, I'm not gonna shout them out this time. <laughs> oh. oh no! <laughs> Definitely shout them out the next episode for sure. Yeah, right. when you're not here. Anyone else? <laughs> Before hey, we let these uh, few people go. All right. Uh, Thank join you. Join us uh, in the next few days. Yep. Thank you. For Thank listening. you. See you next time.